Hey guys, it's Emily and today I am going to be doing a Christmas book haul for 2023. Um, originally I was going to do a haul of everything I got for Christmas, but then I decided that most of the stuff I got probably wouldn't be of interest to anyone besides myself because it's mostly like everyday items, toiletry items, like that kind of stuff. And I don't really feel a need to post that on YouTube. But I thought because my channel centers primarily on my interest in reading and sometimes my music taste, I would show you all the books I got as well as the two vinyls that I got. Yeah, so the first book I got I actually haven't received yet because I like we ordered it online and I knew it probably wouldn't come by Christmas and so I don't have a physical copy to show you but that's The Phantom of the Opera so I'm still waiting for that to arrive. Um, I wanted that book because I am trying to like venture out into reading more like classical literature and yeah trying to read all the like well-known classics throughout my lifetime and on that note as well I also asked for The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath because this is another one of those books that's like read by millions like pretty like well-known so I wanted to see if I like this I have read some of Sylvia Plath's poetry in the past for high school um I liked it I love her exploration of like grief and like I don't know depression being a woman and the challenges that comes with but um yeah I do see the problematic side to Sylvia Plath especially like I don't know some of her metaphors are a little bit questionable but I did want to read this because it's like I don't know I know it to be like a feminist classic kind of and I love to see like how feminism has progressed from like a few decades ago to now and also the exploration like being a woman in this time and how yeah it's just a bit depressing so I wanted to read this and then I also asked for Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi um, because I do want to start reading more contemporary books I find that they're just easier to consume and they're more enjoyable so yeah, I've already read Emergency Contacts by Mary H.K. Choi, but yeah, I didn't adore it, but I thought it was pretty good. It was like a solid like three to four stars, like enjoyed it, liked the characters. But I saw that this book centers more on sisters and like familial relationships. I think there is still romance in it, but I wanted to read it more so for the sisters side and since it came out i've seen that lots of people have read and enjoyed this and i want to read more of this author's work so yeah i asked for this and then the last book is a fantasy book i asked for powerless by lauren roberts i literally know nothing about this except that it's like your typical fantasy romance and i saw that one person gave it five stars i was like okay i have to buy it then and i'm actually pretty like um glad for that decision since I saw that one person read it a lot of people have been posting about this and how much they like it however I'm a bit worried because I know that a lot of the fantasy romance that has been gaining attention lately has not been of a great quality like um yeah they're kind of just being mass produced now but I'm hoping this is good someone said that it capture their attention and kept them engaged and that's the kind of fantasy that I've been wanting to read for a while because I do want to get back into reading fantasy like especially since that was the only genre I read as a kid pretty much and like this whole bookshelf if you saw my bookshelf tour is all fantasy that I have to, like most of it I have to get to still so yeah I'm excited to read this and those were the, all the books I got I only got four this year because usually all I get is books and I'm at the point where I have like 150 unread books and it's just getting a bit much so I didn't want to get too many however four is still like a considerable amount and then I thought I would just briefly show you the two vinyls that I got so the first one I got is Phoebe Bridges Stranger in the Alps which I believe is her first album um I love this album and it's Scott Street and Georgia are two of my favorite songs by Phoebe Bridges so I had to get this um I got a vinyl record player for my birthday a few months ago or well, like half a year ago and I've been trying to slowly like build up my collection since then so that I can play vinyls on it but um 
yeah I did see Phoebe Bridges live in concert earlier this year and ever since then I've just been listening to her non-stop so I did want to get this um and then the other vinyl I asked for is Born to Die by Lana Del Rey which has been like a favorite of mine since it came out because I used to listen to it as a kid and it's just like I love all her music but there's just something about this one that's more nostalgic and like there's like no skips on it so I did want to get this as well so yeah that's my Christmas um books and vinyl haul for 2023 I know this video was very brief but I didn't really want to drone on too long about what I got I just wanted to like briefly show you so if like these books appear in a video in the future like I can remember like when I got them or whatever and maybe just give you a little insight into my music taste as well but yeah that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed like if you did subscribe if you want to and I'll see you on the next video bye